First of all, I want to congratulate the beautiful couple. I love you both so much. It's only fitting that someone so special finds herself a Prince Charming, or should I say, a Captain Charming. <laughs> One day, Melissa came home from work talking animatedly about this mysterious Captain she had a major crush on. Thank you all so much from the bottom of our hearts for being here to help us celebrate the day that we've all been waiting for. Uh, Looking out across the room tonight, we're so overwhelmed by the love and support that we feel from each and every one of you. Welcome to everyone. We are, as, as Gabby said, Janine and Michael Monahan. We're the parents of the groom, very proud parents of the groom. We wanted to congratulate Brennan and Melissa. You're a beautiful couple inside and out. You're beautiful people. You obviously seem to just be made for each other. Oh, you look so beautiful. Thank you. Melissa, since we first met, you have made me feel wanted, appreciated, treasured, and loved. Nothing made me happier than knowing you wanted me to come up to London for homecoming. It was soon after this that I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. You are my love, my life, my little stinker, my munchkin, my soulmate. You are my light, my rock, my emotional support animal, and my life coach. You are my heart, my smiles, my laughter, and my joy. You are my everything. Dear Brindis, <laughs> who, Brendan, and any other one of the names I've created for you over the past almost nine years, I am so incredibly happy that we're standing here together today. But deep down, I think we both always knew that we'd make it here. I've always been a believer in fate and destiny, and these ideas have only become more real when I met you. <laughs> We've grown not only through the bad, but also through the countless good, happy memories <laughs> that we share. Like when I heard you refer to me as your girlfriend for the first time when you visited me in London, or when we told each other we were falling in love with each other so quickly into our relationship. Brendan, you've been my best friend for almost a decade. I couldn't be more proud to call you my husband. 
That's crazy. Brendan, will you give yourself to Melissa to be her husband, to love her and comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsake all others to be faithful to her so long as you both shall live? Melissa, will you give yourself to Brendan to be his wife, to love and comfort him, honor and protect him, and forsake all others to be faithful to him so long as you, you shall both shall live? As the very protective older sister, I was at first a bit skeptical. I didn't want anyone coming into the picture who might break my sister's heart. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized only someone who must really love my sister for who she truly is would have fallen in love, in love with her, dressed as a man in an 1867 military soldier costume playing the fight. <laughs> Thank you to Melissa, my lovely bride, for agreeing to make me your husband. Nine years ago, I knew you were the person I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. And while the time we had then, shooting off cannons and marching around in red uniforms, may be over, but the lives we are spending together has really just begun.